OK, so you're a West Ham fan and you've travelled out to Denmark to go and watch the Hammers play against Silkeborg in the UEFA Conference League. You might be wondering to yourself, what can I do in this place? Where is Silkeborg? What's it like there? Is it safe? You might have all these questions running through your head. Well, let me reassure you one thing before I get into the juicy details of this tour guide. I can tell you this straight away. If you went to Viborg, Silkeborg's only down the road. It's about half an hour away from Viborg, and it's in the same area. So you may be familiar with it. And you would fly to the same airport in Aarhus, which is the nearest city. And that still is not that far away at all. It's well less than an hour away from Silkeborg. And it's quite accessible on the train. I think a train from Aarhus to Silkeborg is around a 45 minute uh, total time. So if you're staying in Aarhus, great. You're staying in a big city. But why not see how the locals live in this part of Denmark? What I can tell you for a start is that I did a lot of research about this place and I wrote an article for Green Street Hammers about this because I do write for those guys. And I can tell you about this place. It's a prime getaway spot for a lot of Danish people. Summer vacations are very popular to this place because of the clear blue lakes and the luscious green hills. Um... It's a town of around 42,000 people, and it lies on the Gudena River in the Sohoilandet region of the Atlantic Peninsula. It's got loads of woodland areas, lakes, parks, and it's quite a popular place to raise a family. I think Denmark in general is actually one of the best countries in the world to live in, in terms of the quality of life. I know Canada, where I live, is. Japan is as well, but Denmark's up there as well. Because, the, well, it's a very, like community-based lifestyle. It's very socialist, in a way, countries like Denmark. And that is not a negative thing to say. It's a positive thing. They're very community-based, our Scandinavian countries. So what can you do while you are in Silkeborg? Well, this whole city square is the heart of the local community. The church and the town hall are nearby. Locals usually go to the town at the weekends to check out market stores there. There are also the lake fountains, and they're the two largest fountains in Northern Europe. They put on a dazzling light show at night, so make sure you go and check that out. There's also SS Helien. Helien is the world's oldest steamboat. It was built in 1861 and celebrated its 150th anniversary in 2011. The Queen of Denmark hosted the occasion, and she has just celebrated 50 years on the throne this year herself. So... Let's talk about this football team, shall we? Where do they play? They play at Jisk Park. Jisk is a popular Danish furniture chain. It's quite similar to Ikea. There used to be one near my house here in Edmonton. And it's also pretty nice stuff. I actually got my bed sheets from there, <laughs> as a side note. Anyway, back to this stadium. Jisk Park was opened in 2017 and was designed by a local architect firm. It's next to an athletics arena and a post-secondary college. There's also a cafe for pre-game food and drink. I would encourage any fans to go there and interact with some of the locals because they will welcome you with open arms. Danish people are very interested in other cultures and they are always going to ask about where you're from and maybe even get to know West Ham a little bit more. The best way to get to the stadium is to take the bus. The number 11 runs from the main train station to the stadium. What three things should you know before you go out there? Well, just some little do's and don'ts from me. Always ask before you take photos. The laws of Denmark do not allow you to take photos of government or judicial buildings. So ask for permission before you take a picture. Also, I know your mother says this to you when you're a kid. I know this is a general thing. Clean up after yourself. I don't just mean pick up your pizza boxes or take your dirty socks off the floor. There's a very important reason why... I mentioning this in the video. Littering is strictly prohibited under the Danish wildlife protection laws. If you drop litter in public or don't pick up after yourself in public, it could lead to a fine or even imprisonment. It's a breach of federal law. And if you're planning to use a car or use a taxi, 
may need to allow additional time to travel. Because the law in Denmark states that if you are going to drive a car or any vehicle, you must do a full check and inspection of the vehicle before it goes out on the road. This includes testing brakes, checking for scratches and looking over the engine. Some taxi drivers or lift share users may have to do this procedure before they drive you. So give them the time and patience to complete the checks beforehand. And before I end the video, if you have traveled out to Denmark, I hope you found this video very useful because there are a lot of things you can do in this place. And if you've already been to the Viborg game, like I say, you have no trouble getting around Silkeborg. Enjoy it. And if you are going to the game, share your experiences. I love to hear stories about how it went. Thank you very much for watching this video. Take care, everybody, and I'll see you all soon.